Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 73 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, I ended off down there somewhere. Somewhere. Ha, ah, you can't get me, you stupid tactite. <laughs> and now I'm up here somehow. Um, basically, if you don't remember how I showed to get up here that one time, um, basically you just have to take the path on the, the left branch on the second floor on, like, the middle level. And you can, it's basically a straight line after going through that door, and you'll get up here. So, well, it's not a straight line, I mean, it's just like a straight path. There's no, like, splitting paths or anything. One set path. Anyways, so now that we have raised the water to the high level, the third level, we can hook shot, or long shot, or whatever you want to call it, over here. You could not reach that with the hook shot, so don't even think about being able to sequence break like that. Technically, you can sequence break. You can, like, get over here really soon. Like, if, but you have to, like, glitch it. Okay, this is your final obstacle, and it can be a doozy. But basically, you just want to walk up the whole thing. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Yep, just look at that. You just walk up the side like that, and you should have pretty much no problems. Alright, and here is the boss door. So, let's get to it. Who's going to be the boss of this temple? I don't know. There hasn't been, like, a legend about an uh, evil water dragon or anything like Valbeg. Argon, look out, that water is normal over there. You mean right there? Yeah, it does look a little bit bluer than normal. Hmm. Well, let's just hop out into the middle here. What do you, What the hell? Alright, oh, cutscene time. What's happening? There's something lurking under the water. I assume that that's going to be the boss. Is it going to be, like, a j giant epic fish or something? Hmm. Uh-oh. It sees us. It's coming at us. What's it gonna do? I'm so scared. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait a second, it's out of the water, but it's still seeing like it's in the water. What the hell is going what? What is this thing? What <gasps> Holy shit, what is that? It's it's giant aquatic amoeba morpha. Oh my god. This boss can be quite the pain in the ass if you don't know how to deal with it properly. Basically, your goal is to get that little ball there. And how you do that, it'll stretch out an arm like this for you, like an arm made of water like that. And when it does, that thing will start going up and down that arm. And you want to grab it with your hookshot and just go ape shit on it with your sword and hit it as many times as you can. And you can actually get like that lucky sometimes. You can just pull it right out of the water sometimes. Not all the time, but... Oh, look, I'm getting lucky. Awesome. Okay, pull it. Awesome! This is easy. Alright, can I do... Th oh, da damn it. Now now I can't... You can't re You can't get it, I don't think, at all. I don't think it's possible to get it. And... You know what? I'm gonna get hit by this guy one time just to show you what it's like. Yeah, see, look at this. This is just epic. I just want to show this for the sake of showing it. Oh my god, he's he's waving me around. He's like, it's like I'm a doll to him. Oh my god, holy shit, he throws me across the room. Oh my god. Yeah, so if you get too close to his arm, that's what's going to happen to you. And you don't want that happening to you. At least I don't. Maybe you do. I don't know why you would, but... Yeah. And at certain times, he will come up with actually two arms. So one of them will not have this thing in it, obviously. Oh, I just beat the boss. Holy shit. I literally just... What's the time? 3 minutes, 49 seconds. And I had all that shit at the beginning, too, actually getting to the boss. Oh my god, that was so quick. That was, like, almost as quick as Goma. Holy crap. That boss is norm not normally that easy. But yeah, like I was in the middle of saying, sometimes, some when it gets later in the fight, two of those watery arms will spread out. One of them will have the thing in it, one will not. And the other one is just there to try and grab you, pretty much. Holy shit. Well, whatever. Let's go grab our heart container, man. Well deserved after this temple, I must say. Well, this temple wasn't really all that bad, except for that one blunder at the beginning that completely messed up my strategy. But I just played through with it like a champ. Made my made an alternate strategy, I guess. And, um, let's warp out of here. Getting cased in a blue rupee again, I guess. I'm worth five rupees. Peace. Look at me. And I guess we're going to encounter the sage now. Who could be the sage of the water temple? I wonder. 
I bet you it's King Zora. He's the only one that makes logical sense. Wait. <gasps> it's you! My fiance Ruto! Oh my god. I never suspected you. Not for an instant. Argon. I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state, but not in this game. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Dude, I want your medallion, not your eternal love. Well, that's what I want to say. That's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. Yeah, because I'm with Zelda. I'm going after Zelda, bitch. I have to guard the water temple as the sage of water. And you, you're searching for the princess, Zelda. Yeah, I just told you that. Ha! You can't hide anything from me. I wasn't hiding it, I just told you straight up. Whatever. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it, so don't be discouraged. I had never assumed that she was dead in the first place, but okay. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. And we are going to get the next, the fourth medallion, technically, because the light medallion, remember? And that is that. We have gotten... <gasps> you received the water medallion. Ruto awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Sweet. And if you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Yeah, sure. Well, technically I can't do that because I can't talk because Link is a mute in every game except for when he was like, ha, 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 when he's like rolling around and shit. What's going to happen? Oh my god, the lake is filling back up with water. It's a Christmas miracle. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Argon, you did it, dude, I'm not even there. How, what? Oh, what? Wow, you're just talking. Oh, look, now I'm there. So I guess you preconceived my arrival. <gasps> I'm so shocked to see him. It's like, no, I've never seen you after a temple before. Did Bruto want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake, too, don't we? Look at that, Argon. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil- Dude, I did all that work. She didn't do shit except show me, like, one path I was supposed to take. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All as, as it was here. Indeed it is. Looks just like it did when we were a kid. Oh, it's so- Oh god, it's lagging. I, it's, it's actually lagging right now? Okay, the lag stopped. Dude, she's checking me out! Holy shit! He's like looking at me, it's like, oh my god, with that evil red eye of his. Oh, he disappeared. He was like checking out the back of my head, did you see that shit? Whatever. And he's on top of the tree there now, I just saw him. And now, he's diving into the water. Holy crap. Man, I still can't believe I did that boss that quickly. And we're actually encroaching the end of the episode here, but there's still a few things to do. First of which, first thing that, first things first, when, right whenever you get out of the water table, the first thing you want to do, take out your bow and arrows, run over here onto this pedestal thing, and fire an arrow straight into the sun, just like that. And, if you, if you read the plaque that's like in front of you or something, then it'll tell you that if you fire an arrow into the sun, into the sunrise, then you will get this, a special little gift over there that we're going to swim out to now, before the episode ends. And we'll probably be able to do one other thing that I want to do before the episode ends, hopefully. Alright, and we come up here, and we get a very, very handy little item here. This is... You got the fire arrow! Set it to C and your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it will catch fire. Basically, yep. Consumes magic power, and, um... It catches things on fire. Basically, exactly what the item description says. Okay, and now with the long shot, there's actually a sculpture that we can get here. I don't care about you, Navi. Um, but we're gonna need to be nighttime, obviously, because sculptures only come out at night. They're lurkers of the dark, deep abyss. They would only come out in the darkness. What do you want, Navi? Let's look for someone who might know something about the other sages. Yeah, we'll find out about that later on. Okay, so the sculpture that we're looking for is actually on top of that tree. And I have to get it quickly here because there's only like a minute left in this video. But you want a hookshot to pretty much right there. 
so that you land on top of this branch, and there's that sculpture right there. So just walk your way very carefully out to the end of this branch, like that, and you can get that sculpture. You can't do that with the normal hookshot, because you can't get up here with the normal hookshot. But, there we go. So, um, I guess that's going to be it for this recording session. Uh, this has been the Water Temple recording session. Much less epic fail than I assumed that there would be. So, um, thank you everybody for watching. In the next episode, we'll do some more shit. We'll find out what we can do. So, thank you everybody for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.